what is this I'm feeling? If you wanna leave, I'm with it. Hello and welcome to another model review. In this edition we're going to be reviewing one of these. Just move the camera. A Seiko Diecast Metal and Plastic Authentic Replica in scale 164. In this edition we will be reviewing the Stobart version and the Malcolm version. The box is quite basic and it's shown on the back which ones we're reviewing. This one here uh, 46601 Start A Eddie Stobart and 46601 Style D The Malcolm Group. Right, and I no need to take these out of boxes because I've already got, got loads of these ones. I'll just put the box to one side and to there. We'll start with the Stobart Group one to just take it off the model. And this is the uh, Seiko Eddie Stobart, quite detailed model, rubber tyres, and there's in the new branding. Great detailing of the curtain straps, bit of a detailing of the curtain itself. And moving on to the cab on this side. Again, it's got the old website, edistobot.co.uk. I don't think many models have got the new website on it yet. Might be mistaken. Again, great detail in the wheels, and you've got good detail in everything else. You've got the S emblem there, it's in the white, and it goes round, and you've even got the fleet number, Holly Jane H4. Uh, Two six one. Put the camera down for a minute and I'll detach the trailer from the cab. If I can. Yes. And the back of the cab is like it is on a normal lorry. Basic. Hasn't got the Eddie Stewart number there though, which is a shame. On the other side of this cap, it's the same as the other side, even has the same detail in there and on there. There's a little bit of detail in the inside, but again, you can't quite see it. On the front, and you've got, looks more like it's an old style stay rock, because the new wrapping comes right down to here now. I think I've actually got some somewhere in the model. It's in the new. Yeah. Yes, I do. Right. Just here. It's in the new. They're basically the same, just changed it slightly. Right, back to the Holly Jane one. It's F. It's a PX56 BSZ is the plate there. And on this one, it's Lucy Rose PX58 DNE with fleet number. Oh, it's scrubbed out on that side. And there isn't one on that side where these models vary in quality. And the, oh, that's the tabletop bumpy. That concludes the cab. So, <laughs> I'll put Lucy Rose back on the model and then I'll review the trailer. There's the trailer for Holly Jane on the other side, same as the other side. And on the back. Uh, the wording with the bit of a hologramic thing there, the old website again, even the trailer number CT3380 
and play it again and great detail of everything else right moving on to the put that up there I'll put the trailer back on first move that up there time for the Malcolm okay that's the Malcolm one more or less is exactly the same this is a few less detailed parts here and here the trailer is a little bit more basic same detail in there on the curtain but it just says Malcolm it was the Malcolm line with the flag that says Malcolm in it and logistics services a division of the Malcolm group H832 back of the trailer Malcolm of Brookfield www malcolmgroup.co.uk and all the other details on the other side some great detail in, extra great detail in down here with it being in white the number plate SF53 LMV and put the train to one side now because this other side is exactly the same onto the Malcolm cab now these cabs actually look better than the Stobarts in darker colours and look a bit older as well and uh, the Malcolm group colours are very very dark blue with the light blue stripe with Malcolm and gold and you've got the Malcolm line again there and the Malcolm website on the front Malcolm at the top the Malcolm group with the line just there and the website and the Volvo F8 12 and the plate again with great detail. I'm not quite sure what the little yellow emblems are either side. And the feature that all oh, Malcolm groups have, their fleet number is up there. L046, this model is. I do really like that model, this model is good, and I do like the uh, Stobot one as well. I'll just put the, get the other one back side by side. You can tell it's the same model. The Stobart one's an exceptional branding, but the Malcolm one, just because it's keeping the heritage colours more, I think is a slightly better model. But again, there is no telling between the two. Absolutely no telling between the two. Alright, that concludes this edition of the Stobart Room Model Reviews. We'll be back shortly with yet more videos. Thank you for watching.